just stops my. Here we are. We're live tonight. We are. Um, yeah. Hey, welcome to our live show where we're here. Our goal is to empower, equip, and educate. Um, yes. The home live, improvement. The home improvement uh, professional painters and do-it-yourselfers. Yes. Here on the internet and yes. our YouTube channel and Facebook. So yep. we're live on Facebook. Facebook is right here. We got somebody already popping on. YouTube is right there. We're live on YouTube. So the show is starting at 7 p.m. Yeah. Thank you for being with yeah. us tonight. What are we going to talk about tonight? So tonight is all about HVLP sprayers. Um, why? Uh, got five tips. Five and professional, some bonus ones. yeah. Five professional tips using HVLP sprayers, and we got some bonus tips that we're going to be talking about if we have uh, time. I got a bunch of other ones written down and talking about, um, you know, why we use them, the benefits of using them, how to go about using them, why use an HVLP sprayer versus an airless sprayer. So kind of yeah. cool. And yeah. you use them for doing the fence, the wrought iron fences, but now we'll start using them more when we go indoors. For cabinets, right? Yep, we're uh, working into today. It rained all day, starting to get cold, so we're getting closer to interior season. So mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. Um, so we have some people from Australia, Max Kill. Thank yeah. you for being with us. We got uh, Superior Painting from uh, beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina, mm -hmm. is on the show tonight. Okay. Edgar Zavala um, is on. Brian yeah, Wagner, thank super you. excited. Um, <gasps> wow, Andrew. You know, thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you for helping support our channel. Yes. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I think we saw him on Instagram um, today. I don't know, but I sent him an email because we owe him a hat yeah. and we're waiting for our hats to come in. So, so we got Gary Creaseman from Chattanooga, Tennessee on, on Insta or Facebook. We got Daniel Dominguez from Freehold, New Jersey. And look, we got um, John Cole is on oh, Instagram. Oh, yay. So yes, I think we know him. Us. Yeah. So um, last week you were had surgery last Monday. Yeah. How's your knee doing? Yeah. So I had an operation on my knee uh, from an accident wakeboarding. So mm -hmm. knee's doing pretty good. Is I would. I think I was working what two days later, um, two or three days later. Yeah. 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 So I'm getting around. I know. I didn't even see you limping today. Today I went to work, but I didn't um, didn't do a whole lot of painting, just videos. Yeah. Um, so it's feeling pretty good. Yeah. So um. Somebody sent us something. Oh, yeah, we got a package in the mail. Kind of cool. So um, who is it from? Uh, it says um, Alan K. Wong from Hawaii. Kamei Coatings. Is that? Yeah. Kam Kamei. Yeah. Kamei. I, I don't know. Kamei <laughs> Coatings, all the way from Pearl City, Hawaii. Hawaii. Kind of cool. I think so. I saw something from him on Instagram. Oh, did um, you? I think it, he, I saw that he did like a volunteer project. Which oh, kind of really cool. cool. So let's see. Oh, whoa, there's something. Oh, cool. He's got all here. You can grab those oh, guys. Right. I'm going to show. Yeah. Oh, we got a shirt here. Kind of cool. I like so them. another painter has sent me a shirt for me to Ooh. hang up on the wall back here. Right on. Oh, I love the logo. Oh. There we go. Check that logo out. Really cool. Wow, he's got. That's some cool artwork. Um, I like that. Painting Coatings Hawaii, local services. Um, that's kind of cool. I dig it. So he has some good marketing going on here. Yeah. And, and he has a really cool logo. He and gives... he sent me the correct size. I'm a medium. <laughs> right on. So he so, has good marketing with logos. Do you have any tips for people that are starting out and they don't have a lot of money to pay a yeah. marketing company to come up with a logo? Do you yeah. have any tips for that? I, I do. So, um, you know, he's got a, a really cool business card. He's got a really cool logo. He sent me yeah, a couple stickers thank here. Thank you. We appreciate uh, I like that. It. And he's got this cool um, bottle opener. So uh, th this is a really cool tip. Um, um, it's a good thing you brought that up. And mm -hmm. a lot of the artwork you see across my website, across all my social media and all that stuff, a lot of it, you, you can go to your local, um, uh, just, I don't know, like um, t-shirt stores and shops yeah. and stuff like that, that design, you know, logos and media and stuff for designing artwork for shirts and stuff like that. And they charge you quite a bit for creating logos and stuff. You can pay up to $500 just for a logo for your company or even more than that. Yeah, it could be a really expensive. It could be up even a couple thousand. You mm -hmm. got to check this out, Fiverr.com. It's F-I-B-E-R-R, -R, I believe, Fiverr.com. Mm -hmm. And I have them make the majority of my artwork. All you see, all the headers of all my Facebook pages, the headers of all my YouTube pages, um, and some of the logos, the artwork, the, the new Idaho Painter artwork I've gotten from Fiverr and it's really cool in mm -hmm. Fiverr it, um, every logo I've ever bought and I've never paid more than $15 for it it's that absolutely is a incredible. very good tip so if you're starting out you can have a professional logo but you don't have to 
killed the bank. Oh my gosh, and, and Fiverr does everything from you know logos to web pages. The um, the Idaho cyclist web page that I have um, that was done uh, a guy on Fiverr and it was for one hundred and fifty dollars. Absolutely amazing, mm -hmm. incredible. I, I've had vid, um, you know intros and outros made. So some people cool. are saying they can't see the video. So. Um... See what? Yeah, I don't know. They're having technical problems, but not everybody is. So I think um, I think yeah. we're okay. If yeah. you're um, having a problem, John's off site here. So let me know, John, if you're. I yeah. see everything looks good on yeah. our side yeah. here. So yeah. um, you know, hopefully they can. The people that aren't seeing it can get it corrected. Yeah. If, any, if anybody's if anybody's seeing it out there, let us know that you're seeing it and stuff and. Um, so, so you recapped you had knee surgery and we're in Boise, Idaho and I'm wearing a sweater today because it was in the mid 90s last week and today it's cold. So we skipped that fall 70, 80 degree weather it seems like. So it looks like somebody else is saying um, no picture, no sound. So yeah. Well some people are. Okay, we'll okay DFW on. Crown, he says Richard from DFW Crown, right back there. And, and he, he says it's all good and go, so cool. Yeah. So we won't try to change anything. We won't shut it down. We're going to stick with it because some people are seeing it. So it must probably an individual issue with somebody. So yeah, yeah. Um, hopefully. unfortunately, hopefully you can get it get it going. John Burke is on. Steve William Montana is fine here in Idaho. Yes, um, we are fine in Idaho. We just weren't quite ready for winter and it feels like winter hit yeah. today so. yeah it's changing it's changing fast i just got back from wyoming so i drove oh, yeah. yeah yeah so, so i was um yeah know. i was just over in wyoming and i drove all the way uh, a couple days ago drove to laramie wyoming to watch my daughter play rugby she's playing against the wyoming cowboys and, and i think you drove like 700 miles one way yeah. so he did a lot of driving this weekend yeah a lot of driving all the way there went to watch a relative who's the quarterback of uh, wyoming football josh allen went to watch him so um cool um yeah so it's kind of fun and uh, if you want to check out and see some pictures of my daughter playing rugby, go follow us on Instagram. Yeah. And check us out there. So, like, you know, we want to educate, empower, and equip um, professional painters and DIYers to get a good product and to finish. And so, you know, you have BNK painting and, you know, you learn things every day. What was something you learned this week? Yeah, you know, this week we yeah. ran into, went out, started working on a, a bigger project, a, a house that took us two and a half days, which that that's kind of rare yeah and just a lot of different things going on with the house different colors um different um surfaces like staining and paints and stuff like that and kind of right in the middle of the project the customer changed the color couldn't decide on the color and then changed it multiple times i was trying to work with them and it really throws us off mm -hmm. you know when we don't have you know everything in line and all the colors we were ready to spray the soffits and some of the gables and we already purchased the product and then um, I think we started spraying some and she didn't like yeah. it. That's what it was and then she changed it and it really I mean it really throws the timing off on everything especially if you got multiple overlapping colors You know at first I started you you I started to get just a little bit frustrated But you know you just got to remember you know, it's um just be calm It's not that big of a deal and you know You just got to work through it and the ultimate goal is to make the customer happy and when I walk away from that house you know, even if it takes me a half a day longer, we want them to be 100% happy with the with the product, and they we want them to be happy with you know our our work, and we don't want them to see us frustrated or anything. You just gotta remain calm with the customer and just tell them, look, hey, it's not a problem. Just you know, ensure them that hey, it's no big deal. Just take your time with the colors and just work through it with them. And I just you know work through it with her. I think it. Took several hours. Yeah, that we, that we but I think that keeping that goal in mind, like instead of letting you get frustrated, is you know a happy customer is going to tell her friends, and yeah. that's how you're in business. If you get mad and you respond, then yeah. you're going to lose her and all her friends. And so you know it's it's a learning journey, and it's just yeah. keeping that in mind. Yeah. But that was something that you encountered just. This yeah. last week. So we're live. We've got Facebook Live right here. Um, you guys, if you're on Facebook watching yeah. us, thank you very much. Thank you. YouTube Live right there. We're also on Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram, Idaho Painter. So. so on Facebook, you are with the Idaho Painter, but sometimes people don't know that they should push the like button. Is that right? Yeah, if you're if you're following sometimes. us, if you're on um, Facebook um, and you, you select follow and follow us, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and like us all. It's kind of weird how we got a lot more followers uh -huh. than we do likers. So like us, and if you're on the live show, John is 
a home. John's not with us tonight. You can see his seat's empty. Unfortunately, John's wife is sick, praying for his wife. Hopefully she gets better. Yeah. Um, John has to be home with wife and kids, so he's not here tonight. Yeah. Um, and so um, hopefully, John, hit that share button. We want, we want to hit that share button, so we're sharing it out there. If you're on Facebook, uh, please share us. You'll share our videos and share our live shows so more people will see us. So. Yeah. Cool. So, um, what are we talking about tonight? Here we go. Um, HVLP sprayers. This so you have five tips. Topic. Um, yeah, I got I got some some really cool tips. Hopefully, it's going to help you guys out um, using HVLP sprayers. And this is, it's kind of interesting because I went probably twelve years without ever touching one of these guns and ever owning one, touching one, using one. We painted all of our trim cabinets with airless sprayers. Mm -hmm. And um, you know what's interesting? The only reason I got I got into this is Titan. We used to make videos that we we did. We make videos, mm -hmm. you know, how to fix your airless sprayers, how to use them, and Titan sprayers were in the background and stuff like that. It wasn't um, sponsored by Titan or anything. And they contacted me and said, "Hey, just to say thank you, we want to send you an HVLP sprayer." And I was like, "That was nice and everything." I was like, "Cool, yeah, go ahead and send me one, but I don't use them, so it's just gonna go on the shelf." And so they sent it to me, and I thought it was all great and everything. It was a cap spray 115 HVLP sprayer and then we got into our interior painting season and John um, who you see in the background here decided he wanted to learn how to use he's not these in the things. Background. I said he's not in the background. Oh he's I thought you said who you, I thought you said who's in the background no, right he's, now. Well he's in the background but not right here. Okay. He's in the background at home <laughs> so answering questions on here. So he decided to learn how to use one of these things and started re researching it. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead, man. Then that'd be cool it's, if, if it works out and it puts out a good finish, then we'll use it. And we started doing some cabinets with it and I fell in love with it. Could not believe the finish, the difference, um, the ease of use and everything. And so um, we were convinced. John was convinced 100%. I was convinced 100%. Now we use these things a lot. Absolutely love them have like five of them. So what's our um, number one tip? So the number one tip for the t uh, tonight is properly thinning your products. And this is one of the, the very first things you'll learn with an HVLP sprayer. And, and the very first thing I learned, John started learning how to use them. He got really good at them. And he wasn't here one day and I decided to learn how to use it and make a video mm -hmm. on it myself. And I put some, um, some all surface enamel in it and just dumped it right in there and it wouldn't spray. It was just, it was an absolute nightmare. And I learned on my own, you know, I started thinning it with um, latex extender and I couldn't believe how much you had to thin the all surface enamel with it. And, you know, and, and John's got really, really, really good at learning how to thin things. And now he has a, a really good system down with doing it. But what, um, what I've learned, what we've learned is all the products, we use lacquers, we use water-based products, we use oil-based products. They all need to be thin with an HV HVLP sprayer and that's the big difference with HVLP sprayers versus airless sprayers. Airless sprayers you just throw your siphon tube right into your paint. I've never thinned anything with airless sprayers um, uh, in my career and so I always tell people yeah I never thin my mm. paints. Don't ever thin your paints. Thank you very much family men for being here tonight and um, giving us a super chat. We got a super chat from um, family man Andrew. So uh, we learned right off the bat is you got to thin things, um, you know, thin products in all your products. And John, you know, is here. If you want to know specifically, I, I can't type, but if you want to know specifically, you know, how much in ratios and stuff like that, John can answer it. But uh, one of the things we don't thin, we typically never thin anything with water. We're using late, a latex extender for water-based products. I always think when you think of thinning paint that you're trying to save money or be cheap. Yeah. Like when you're painting the house, but this is totally different. This is totally different. Totally Thinning different. it is making it so it sprays better. It comes out because it's, if you don't thin it, it, it um, my experience, I tried spraying things without thinning it. It wouldn't even come out at all. You'd pull the trigger and nothing would come out. I thin it about, thin it, I would thin it a little bit at like 5% and it would come out and it would spit everywhere. And then I thin it more and thin it more. And eventually I thinned, um, I think the all surface enamel down, I think almost 25% where I got it to like start to really spray out out nice and lay out really nice and atomize you know really well so you're gonna to have to thin everything our lacquers you want to know how much we thin our lacquers John has a lot of experience mm -hmm. spraying lacquers and he knows and um, in the process how we go about we use I don't have one in here it's a little plastic 
touch up cut from sure whims and you can see through the plastic and we just kind of quarter put lines with a, um, a magic marker on that cut to you know you know a half to a quarter to down to like 20 percent 20 percent is one of the common um, amounts that we thin our products down to but you got to thin your products it's just um you're going to learn that and and, t and typically, uh, all the products are going to be different. So we can't just tell you, you know, just thin it, thin all your stuff 20% down because you never know. There's a lot of different products out there and a lot of different things. How about like how it goes through? Somebody was asking about a needle. Um, well, it goes through the, the paint itself. You, th this cup right here, this is a cup gun. It's got the cup right here. We're going to put our product in here. We're going to thin it first, put it in here. And then it, um, it, this is a siphon cup. Let me, um, and it has right here and it just siphons it up comes out and it sprays it through here and these are um little needle sets right here and the needle set comes off there's different size needles and okay. and um and two of the most common needles we use is a um a projector set of five and a three and, and this is um they are different between different manufacturers of guns too but this is a titan gun um, for spraying cabinets, we use a projector set needle three, and then for spraying iron fences, we use a projector set and um, needle size of a five. So, so the number one was thin products, and what was number two? Um, number two is um, we like using a very versatile gun. I think it's really important to use a versatile gun. There's a lot of guns out there, and when I say versatile, th this yeah. gun itself right here will the pot will um, come turn upside down and come to the top and you take this pot out and you put a um, you put um, a gravity fed cup up here. I wish I would have brought that in here. Kind of sounds like that could be a mess. Um, it's no, not and a mess. it's not a mess. And so it's kind of, it's really cool, but um, this will turn upside down right here. You set your little gravity pot up there and the gravity um, cup up here, you can use a lot less product. Like this one right here, you got to have a certain amount to suck up into, you know, the, um, the gun and stuff. And so usually we're going to load up a full court here. The gravity gun, you can have just a tiny oh, so amount of product because some products are like my bike, my, um, my carbon fiber bike, mm -hmm. the, the product, the lacquer that goes into that is extremely expensive. It's about $100 for like a few little ounces of it. Mm -hmm. And so you don't want to have to buy too much if you're just like touching up scratches. Okay. And so you can put a tiny bit in that little gravity, um, you know, cup up top and spray with it. And then the other thing is, is, you know, you want a gun um, that you can, you know, take the, the um, pot off. You can use, we got a different one here. This is um, a PPS cup Secret. and you want a gun that you can use, you know, through um, a, a remote pot or, or, I mean, this is the remote pot right here. Here's Whoa. a remote pot. And so you can set it up with a remote pot. Do you hook or, that like um, on your pants or something? Um, Is that what it's for? Yeah, we'll get to that in just okay. a little bit. But yeah, you hook it onto your pants or belt. Um, this is a transfer pump right here. So you want something just in case you want to pull out of a five and not have to keep a five gallon bucket, not have to keep loading this thing up. So you want a, a versatile gun. You want you want to make an investment. This is a two hundred and eighty dollar gun right here. This wow. is the Titan uh, Maxim Elite gun. Um, this is the Maxim gun. A little bit of difference here. This one's a little bit nicer. This gun, you cannot rotate it to the top and make it a gravity-fed gun. And this gun, just for a little bit more money, is a more versatile gun. So you want to just yeah. start off with a, a really nice gun, a very versatile gun. So these, like if you're really going to get into cabinets and stuff, you'd recommend getting one of these? Um, yeah, I mean, they're all, all they're, an HVLP gun is an HVLP gun, but you want to get, you know, just a good quality gun, something that's going to last you and something that's going to be versatile because you never know if you're going to need to use just a small amount of product and one that's going to be a gravity fed gun. And you just don't know what you're going to be, you know, using it for in $280, this thing is going to pay for itself in the first, very first project you do, like a set of cabinets mm -hmm. or even an iron fence. Mm -hmm. I mean, it literally will pay for itself. And this, um, you know, there's really hardly um, anything that could wear out on this thing. This thing is going to last you a long, I mean, it should last you your career, mm -hmm. really. And there's a couple little things, rubber hoses and stuff you might need to move, uh, remove and stuff. But So, um, do we have any giveaways tonight? Oh, we got some giveaways. We're going to be giving away a couple brushes right here, um, two wolf brushes right here. I, I tested these brushes out, really like them. Um, okay. They're great brushes, so we're gonna give these away to um, you know one person. And whoever wins them, we want because it is a new company, and so you know we'd love feedback. Yeah, it's a brand this. new company making so, brushes. So let us know what you think. You, um, you know, if we send them to you, next um, person we're gonna give 
one of these. These are absolutely amazing. These gooseneck yeah, brushes are where you give a wolf, a three inch flat wolf brush to um, a person here. But this thing, this brush bends and hooks to an extension pole. Absolutely love this thing. It's mm -hmm. incredible. Hopefully they make it just a little bit higher quality where they put some better bristles on it, more durable bristles, a little bit stiffer, but it's, it's incredible. Um, it's made by a Richard makes it, but, um, I got them from Hyde. Hyde sent me mm -hmm. a whole box of them to give away. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. And then um, we'll talk about some other giveaway stuff. We got some other stuff we're going to yeah. talk about so later. So we've done um, two of the tips so far. Uh -huh. And we've talked about the giveaways. Any reminders if anybody wants help how to contact you or do you paid support or? Yeah, so on, if you need help with any of your projects, um, go check us out, theidahopainter.com. It's our website where we got a lot of tips and stuff. I just reorganized it on my trip to um, to Wyoming and I reorganize all the menus and stuff so it makes a lot more sense and stuff and and change some things around but we offer email support phone support um, even we even um, offered to sell our bid packet our 20 page bid packet that you know um, wins us a lot of bids and then my our three page invoice package that is just an amazing invoice package when you're done with the job it just you know, I hand it to somebody and say, you know, uh, pay your bill, but it looks really professional. <laughs> but our bid bag is literally, it's like a 20-page document. If somebody um, just wants one bedroom painted, we hand them a 20-page document mm -hmm. to tell them, this is, you need to hire us. I mean, we're the best. So, um, are we're, we the best? We're, well, we're here to help. We No, are we the we, best painters? We, we do our best. And sometimes <laughs> it's not always wow, the best, but busy. mostly it is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. We learn as we go. We do. You we do, do a great job. That's why we're in business, and that's why we're booked, and that's why we um, say no to a lot of work. And so, um, you get out of things what you put into them. Yeah, it's interesting because in um, you know we're, we're decent painters and mm -hmm. stuff. And and when I started out, I wasn't a decent painter. <laughs> I mean, um, we're we're here to learn. I learn stuff every day from you guys on my um, YouTube channel, on Facebook, on Instagram and stuff. It's pretty cool, all the tips and stuff. Yeah, really when when I first started out, the, the first um, house I painted, new construction, I absolutely ruined it. I mean, I think uh, the first year, maybe two years, oh, sorry. we absolutely destroyed the houses that we painted. I mean, we didn't know how to do it. I, I know, mean, but I wouldn't say destroyed. That's a little, did. You didn't. So I think they had some, to burn them down. No, some people wouldn't even notice. I mean, really? you... Yeah, like for our house. I thought they were going to burn them down. No, you were unhappy with our house, and we paid somebody to come in, DFW Crown. We paid somebody to come in and redo <laughs> our trim and repainted it because once he found out it wasn't um, high quality, high quality, we redid it. Yeah. So, um, anyways. If you're in Texas and want an awesome trim guy, yeah. he, he's on here, uh, DFW. If you have any questions, um, Richard from DFW Crowns, any um, installing crown trim, stuff like that, he's. I believe I'm still on tonight. I know. We need to get on to the next tip, but I would love to hear um, from people that are in Florida and Texas to hear how you guys are doing yeah. and if there's any way that we can help. Um, I saw Jenny Toot and it sounded like there was some loss there. So let us know because um, I don't want to just forget about what's going on there because um, it's a big recovery. Okay. Okay. Number three. Number three. Face. <laughs> Trace. Trace. Uno, dos, oh, trace. Okay, sorry. On Instagram, you posted a video that's super funny. So if you didn't see it, go to his Instagram. What's it called? Idaho Painter? Idaho, Idaho Painters. Idaho Painters. Go to Idaho Painters and watch. It's somebody else made it, but it's just so funny. But, so if you yeah. need a good laugh, you got to yeah, watch it. I posted a video today, like in mid-, mid afternoon or so. It's funny. Um, yeah, some, um, some gangsters doing some... Tagging. Um, tagging. But that's, anyways, that's all we'll say. But go. You got to go check it out. So. And you need to subscribe because today we should be hitting 15,000, and that's, yay. Yeah, we're super exciting. Yeah, we should be hitting 15,000 followers on Instagram. With your eyes so you don't, you don't subscribe, you follow on Instagram. I'm sorry. It's so confusing. <laughs> you subscribe, it's interesting. You, you, um, you subscribe on YouTube, you follow on Facebook, mm -hmm. on on or no you follow on instagram on facebook you like or follow it's mm -hmm. kind of weird you like and follow um so yeah, yeah. so yeah there's okay all right um social media we got we got distracted right. a little okay. bit but tip three um tip three um so uh properly prepping your surface before you before you spray it so mm -hmm. 
you know, I think th there's definitely a difference, um, you know, properly prepping using um, an HVLP sprayer versus uh, an airless sprayer. An airless sprayer throws out a lot more paint, a very thick coating. Uh, an HVLP sprayer throws out a thinner coating, um, and it's really fine finish and stuff. And, and how we go about prepping for um, doing cabinets, for instance. Mm -hmm. we, we don't do this with anything else but cabinets. And we take cabinets, we take the doors off, and we wash them with Dawn, Dawn dish soap. Mm -hmm. And kind of unusual, but Dawn dish soap is is a dish soap that will, will clean it and stuff, and you don't have wow. to rinse it with water. It, it's a, a really good detergent, and it strips like everything off um, your cabinet doors or whatever you're painting. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and it doesn't leave any residue behind. And one thing I found that you'll see a lot of recommendations, you know, on the internet, on um, chats and stuff like that using TSP. And I've never had good luck with TSP. TSP always, to me, it left a residue behind. I'd get some fish iron and stuff like that. Mm. And I never liked, we got um, Slick Type 001 gave us. We've never a, heard um, of you. Yeah, we haven't seen him before. Thank you. Or cool. her. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know what the name is. Yeah. Um, so he says he's really so digging our live show. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. So, I wonder who's digging, you or me? Or she? I wonder okay. who's doing that. Oh my gosh. We need to do a giveaway. We, we haven't even done a giveaway yet. We have, have we? not. Okay. But Dawn, like, that's the thing, like, it prepping the surface. Have you ever had problems when you've used a sprayer that you didn't prep the surface properly and have problems with? Oh yeah, so. Like, what are those fish things called? Yeah, they're um, fish fins. Fish eyes. <laughs> I knew that. They're, they're fish, fish eyes. So fish eyes. fish eye Not is, good when you're painting. Yeah, they're really, really bad. bad. When, bad you, when you have eyes. contaminants on your surface doing cabinets, any type of contaminant, it, the paint is usually going to flow away from the contaminant and it'll leave a circle. And Very bad. Uh, we call them fish eyes. And so when we first started doing cabinets, we didn't clean them with Dawn. And, and um, I don't think we cleaned them with Dawn the very first time. It was kind of a trial and error thing. And it was abs an absolute disaster. Yeah. John... It was all about this. It was just crazy. Like um, we brought the the doors home to our site here. We sprayed them, you know, here on site at, at my house and shop, and they fish eyed. It was a disaster. We sanded them, um, cleaned them. They fish eyed again. Disaster. Um, and then we learned like different primers and stuff. And eventually, you know, learned um, about putting a product called Smoothie in there, which is basically 100% silicone to help eliminate fish eye. And then we also tried different primers. And the best primer to eliminate fish eyes was um, shellac, but um, we, we learned right off the bat that, yeah. um, you know, Prepping spraying the with the HVL, HVLP sprayers and doing cabinets yeah. um, is just absolutely critical uh, in getting it prepped right and going through the proper process, you know, um, cleaning it down with Dawn. You know, we don't, we spray with lacquers and most cabinets are already painted with lacquer, mm -hmm. so you don't, you don't have to sand them. That's one of the great things about mm -hmm. lacquers and painting over the top of lacquers, you don't have to sand them. We do prime them with a, 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 a lacquer undercoater and then we... Um, um, paint over the top of that with another lacquer and we use catalyzed lacquer. Do you have any videos um, like showing that you had fish eyes and how to fix them? Or I do. like documenting that learning Oh curve? yeah, I, so we got videos. Um, uh, I don't know if I got them specifically mm -hmm. fish eyes. Yeah, we do. We got fish eye with, with lacquers on cabinets and fish eyes with water-based products okay. and, and, and how to go about trying to fix it and stuff. And um, if you want to know, uh, if you have any specific questions, I, I can't type right here because no. I have to focus on a bunch of things, but John is um, back home live and he can answer, you know, fish eye Mc questions, McKenna's how we go about. about um, oh, too. oh, McKenna's on. Yeah, yeah. You never said that. Well, I, I, so who's McKenna? She's your rugby player. She's our daughter. Yeah. She's, and she's our social media manager. So McKenna is our social media manager. Yeah. If you're on McKenna, say, hey, what's up? Yeah. So um, she's on recovering from her awesome ma rugby match. It was an absolutely incredible rugby match. They um, were getting hammered in the first half. Didn't score, but um, came so close, and they were down like by five tries or something like that, and and came back in the second half and were just blitzing those uh, Wyoming girls and came back and almost won the thing. It was almost, incredible. It almost. seemed so close, um, but it was just an awesome match to watch. Yeah. Um, superior painting um, is on that white water base over lacquer. Oh. So, it, um, you know, we used to, all of our um, cabinets we used to do were with water based products and stuff. And then now we've converted over to lacquers. And this, and we use a catalyzed lacquer. Lacquers are much more resistant to all your household chemicals underneath your sink. 
Um, Water-based products are very susceptible to like 100% simple green deglossing or taking the paint off or um, you know kind of ruining the surface. And um, a lot of your chemicals, other than just warm soap and water, will degrade a, a water-based paint really fast. So lacquers are much more durable to that. They're um, less. They're uh, more durable to scratching and just all the the. Um, hands on them and people's rings on their fingers less likely to chip and and stuff like that and then me personally hands down a lacquer finish and a catalyzed lacquer finish blows away um, any water-based finish out there it looks so much better when you grab a door that sprayed with a catalyzed lacquer it feels absolutely amazing and that's what you did yeah. my cabinets last year Yours? I love them mm -hmm. really yeah you guys you did like a great them, job huh? I love them so you did it we did a good job eh? you did a really good job yeah they were naughty elder, and some people thought they were really pretty. And they were, but it was just yeah. time to go white. And so cool. um, you painted them white, and that was a really good thing. I'm glad you um, like them. Yeah. Kind of cool. We got um, Gary Creaseman uh, has got some um, questions on tips estimating. T estimating is, is a That's... whole other topic, and I'm going to do a live show on it soon on how to estimate. And um, I do want to say if you do have you know specific questions estimating, I do sell my bid packet. If you purchase my bid packet, mm -hmm. I do answer emails from you and text messages with your specific questions on how to bid. If you got a project, you can send me pictures, email, whatever, and I'll help you walk you through the bidding process and stuff like that. If you purchase one of my bid packets, but um, um, I, and I'm not even, like tips estimating. I don't even know what you want to estimate, whether it's mm -hmm. you know cabinets, trim exteriors of a house there's so much involved in estimating i would i can do you know, probably a five-hour seminar on it but, yeah um, yeah i'd love to answer your question um even with my email support um with that option i could help answer you but um so yeah so we're gonna do a giveaway I, a giveaway i saw um let me let's see. mckenna is on so let's have sure? mckenna yes where's mckenna she's typing in home improvement because we're all home improvement how to Really? Even though if you ask me a question, that wouldn't be good. All right, McKenna, but give us a winner. Give tell us, us a winner who... and tell us, tell them to email their address to live show at the Idaho Painter. So we got, um, and if she doesn't do that, so that this is um, so then I um, will. Yeah, so she doesn't do it here real quick. And, no, I'll do you know, it. We're going to give away the, the wolf brush, a four-inch one and a two-inch one. Great brushes. Mm -hmm. And if you're the winner, you have to email us at liveshow at the-idaho-painter.com. If you don't email us with your, your name and address, we can't send you the product. And we've got a bunch of products that we've given to winners before that are kind of just back and, and they've never emailed us. So we're just going to have to give them away. What we're going to start doing is after a week, the, we're just going to give it away to yeah, another person. Yeah, so. because it's too hard to follow up like oh two oh months ago yeah. I didn't get stuff when I'm mailing out a ton of stuff every week and so Steve Lake says um, sweet brushes I don't know if you've tried them Steve if you've tried them you'll let us know what you think of them you know um, anything good or bad about them so um, yeah let's see um, Jared Hominson have you ever used oh Benjamin Mark Moore? Shipman so tell Mark Shipman what to do have you ever used Benjamin Moore advanced on cabinets really nice when sprayed yeah I am um, I haven't used um, Benjamin Moore Advanced, I heard it's really, really good. And one of the reasons why Benjamin Moore is not very readily available up here, and for there's just one like local glass shop that mm -hmm. sells it and stuff, and it's way on the other side of town, really hard to get a hold of, um, get products from them and stuff because they're so far away. But I, I would really love to use Benjamin Moore because Benjamin Moore across the board, I've used their products, they make, make you know, fabulous products, great products. I love them. So, um, yeah, Mark somebody? Shipman, please email us at live show at the dash Idaho dash painter dot com your address so that I could mail those off this week because the bell man likes to see me every week yeah. with my little stuff. Yeah, on, on Instagram, some people on Instagram asked how do they come over and watch our live show. Mm -hmm. And if you're if you're on Facebook, if you want to watch live on YouTube, yeah. don't, don't forget, um, please consider subscribing to our channel. If yeah. you subscribe, you'll get uh, sometimes get a notification. But that little notification bell, if you click that bell, mm -hmm. then when I go live, you'll always be notified on your phone. It'll say the Idaho Painter is live. So if you always want to know when I'm coming out with a new video or just posted one or live show, just click that little notification bell. So our um, channel, Home Improvement How <laughs> To, <laughs> has our goal is to educate, empower, and equip. Don't you're making me laugh. What? <laughs> so. Do I look cute? You do. 
<laughs> I missed him. He drives me I've crazy, gone, but I missed days. him. I know. I missed him. Right. But he drives me crazy, but I miss him. Okay, so our goal is to educate. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are trying to educate, empower, and equip. And so that's what we want to do. That's what we want to be. So if you do have questions, like show me a video on this, that is how we exist. You know, we love to hear the feedback from you. We love to see the pictures that you post. We love to see the projects that you're doing. We want this to be a community where we're all learning and growing and we're, you know, having more success with our painting projects and we have happier customers and we're satisfied DIYers. Yep. Because um, I tried to watch one of his videos. I said I was going to be a DIYer and paint my bedroom. And not everybody can do it. That didn't come out too well. I really tried, though. I masked <laughs> and I did the cut-ins first. But you guys do have a skill. Welcome, and what happened to your masking the day after? I didn't pull it the day of and you came and pulled it off. And I was like, why are you pulling off my mask? Well, it was all falling off. Okay. Okay. We're anyways. Because <laughs> you're I, using the wrong tape for. No, I used the blue tape. You weren't supposed to use blue tape. Okay. Anyways, to make a long story <laughs> short, I really respect what my husband does, and you do. The, yeah, there's a talent, there's a skill to be patient. Like I am not good at that, wow. so I could you know, write bills. Tell and, me that. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> we are so off. Okay, so, number four. So number four. So let's recap is, them. Um, Five tips. So five tips. So then the first tip that I talked about was properly thinning your products. And it's very, very important to, you know, thin your products when it comes to an HVLB gun. Unlike an airless sprayer, I've never thinned my products using an HVLB Gary, sprayer. Thank, thank you. you very much, oh Gary, for helping Why? support our channel and yeah. um, and giving us a super chat. We got Gary and David Evans, you know, just said thank you guys and gave us thank a super you. chat. Thank you guys very much for helping support our channel. It means a lot. We we appreciate it a lot. So, you know, five dollars. Um, you know, it's five dollars you earn. It was your money, and you guys gave it to us. So thank you. Um, so, so um, thinning your products. Everything I've ever put in an HVLB gun has always got to be thin. I use latex extenders, um, and John uses latex extenders, not water. With um, our lacquer based products, we thin it with lacquer thinner. Um, so, like what we just said, we said that we want your feedback, and Craig just said, ask John to do a video on diluting paints, and that's a great idea, you know, because we can um, do a surface, and we could try different products, and kind of trial and error as go, because that's how you learn. Yeah, so it's a great um, idea. We'll do John's that. watching right now. John, make a note. Um, I think that's going to be a great video yeah. here really soon. Thank you, Craig. Um, because we got a series coming up on um, using HBLP sprayers and stuff like that and, and using the, the PPS gun, which you can spray upside down. Oh. So make a note of that, John, and um, let's do that. Thank yeah. you very much, Craig. Yeah. Um, great idea. So um, number two? Number two was using a versatile gun. Uh, man, just invest the money into a gun that's going to last you. And it's kind of interesting because um, I went and um, my daughter went and had a spray tan at this one place and <laughs> they were using this little tiny HVLP sprayer. Mm -hmm. this crazy little thing and the gun, I grabbed the gun and the gun was just an absolute pile of junk and they're doing these spray tans with it and I just thought, man, what, I mean, um, yeah, just, just buy a good gun and buy one that's versatile that can be gravity fed or um, used with a remote pot and um, and even, um, a, um, you know, I can always forget, with, you know, the little, um, you know, this re remote pump thing, I always, you know, whatever. <laughs> and so then, number three was properly um, prep properly surface. Properly prepping your surface and doing cabinets and stuff like that. It's a lot different than, um, we, we did things a little bit different than we did with, um, uh, you know, spraying water-based products and using airless sprayers and stuff, but just properly prep your surface. And um, so, what's number four? Number four is is you know adjusting your you know air and product mixture and. Ooh. And so HVL becomes, you know, you, you grab this gun and it, it could look a little bit intimidating and airless rare. You just throw that siphon tube right into your product. You know, you just prime it and just start spraying it. You got this gun, you squeeze the trigger and it just starts spraying pain. I, I know, you know, when I saw this gun, I pulled it out of the box um, when I first got this sprayer. 
and I didn't want to have anything to do with it because it just looked like, like oh, my, oh my gosh, this thing is so complicated. <laughs> and, and, and I don't want to learn all this stuff. I mean, what are all these little gadgets all over here, this thing? And what are they all doing? I'm trying to figure it out. And um, luckily, I had John, you know, willing to learn this mm-hmm. stuff. And, and it is, it's really simple. You know, mm-hmm. once you know, John went and learned, then he just showed me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so simple. But, you know, getting the proper, you know, air and product mixture is... Um, you know, you just got to take your time. I think the first time I sprayed, you know, with this thing, I just loaded up my product. I didn't have it thin properly, and I just started spraying, you know, on my project right away and yeah, kind of kind that. of messing it up. And what what I learned right off the bat, and what I see John also doing, like if, if we're in a spray booth and um, and spraying, get ready to spray cabinets on the plastic lacquers because they'll dry really fast and won't run down the pr- plastic. You know, John is working with his needle set. He's working, you know, getting it the spray pattern exactly the way he wants. He's he's constantly you know adjusting his pressure. He's adjusting his fluid mixture, you know, product mixture, and just get just right. You just keep spraying it and keep spraying it until you just get it exactly perfect. And it may take you you know five minutes. It may take you ten minutes, but it's it, worth it. It's absolutely to get it worth right. it because you're eventually going <laughs> to yeah. get it dialed in and get this just really ultimate finish. Mm-hmm. And and don't don't settle you know um, until you get it just mm-hmm. exactly the way you want it. And once you get it set, then you're good to go. It's just you don't have to adjust it anymore, but just take that time because you don't want to have to do it like after you started and you've already sprayed half your piece of furniture and the finish wasn't right. It's a little too egg yeah. shelly oh. or, or whatever. So, you know, just, just work with it. And, and um, you know, one of the, they could be different, you know, you know, one of them's the air, one of them's the product. And it's pretty simple. Just look at the instructions on your, on your gun and stuff. But they're, they're very, they're, it's re- it's interesting because it, it looked to me, I mean, at least to me, it looked really intimidating mm-hmm. at the beginning. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's this? What's this? What's, and, and all these little things and this thing turns and, the, and um, it's, it's really not. I mean, once the gun is set up, it's um, really set up and good to go. And, you know, it's really simple to change, you know, your spray pattern, you know, just by loosening this up, you'll change your spray pattern, whether you want it to go, you know, like horizontal or vertical, or whether you want it to, you can dial in. One of the things nice about an HVOP spray, you can dial in a spray pattern down like this small. So if you're spraying like iron fences, you save so much product and don't lose a that lot. That was something spray. you guys pointed out, was that you may think this is really expensive, but how much more you spend on product yeah. so, on one project? It's, yeah, here's a good example. We, yeah. we did a, an iron fence around a pool. And this was the absolute disaster, just crazy. I mean, we ruined so many drop cloths. They were so soaked in, in um, the product. And then we were using, eventually started using, you know, four by eight sheets of product of plywood. And I think we used like 15 gallons of product. I mean, this is, John will never forget this. I'll never forget it. He got calling me up and said, we need more. We need more. I'm like, what? Are you crazy? <laughs> it's like it should have took two gallons to do that. Yeah. And that fence that took, fit, I think it, I mean, must have took like 12, 15 gallons. If we would have used an HVLP spray, I don't. I don't think we would have used three gallons. Uh, probably three so you gallons. you would have paid for it. It would have paid for it. Very yeah. first. Very first job. Yeah. Yeah. You lose so much in overspray because an an airless sprayer, you can only get it down to a fan. You know, about that big, and the, the quantity that throws out. You know, beyond that thing is just incredible, and in how far it throws it out. This thing, you can dial it down the air to a really low pressure, so it doesn't throw out overspray, but only about that far, and just this really fine you know um little small pattern that you can just spray the pickets with and it's just yeah. it's just amazing yeah. yeah so that was a good thing so you said use large cardboard or like surfaces to get the proper finish yeah so, so what, what i do um if you just got some scrap cardboard scrap piece of wood just sitting around just just lean that up and just start spraying it you know on that piece of cardboard until you dial in that pattern um if you're inside we when we do our cabinets we create this spray booth and, and we're spraying lacquers that dry just like that and so we just spray it right on the plastic but you know if you're outdoors when I, I did some furniture back here on my back deck and I just leaned up some cardboard up against a tree and I just started spraying it and getting mm-hmm. dialing it in and um, I wasn't using a lacquer I was using a product that I'd never sprayed before through an HVLP sprayer as you know all surfacing ammo and it, it just it took me quite a while to eventually get it to you know the exact um, you know uh, mixture you know thinning ratio and then to get the right air mixture down but um, I got a little impatient and I tried to spray the furniture before it was all dialed in and it kind of messed it up and so just uh, be patient yeah well and it seems like you may think oh it's taking me 10 minutes to get set up 
But if you this get a good coat you. on, and if you don't do it right and you're yeah. in a hurry, how much time is it going to take to fix it's it? It's going to take you 30 minutes to re-sand <laughs> that leg yeah. and, and get it smooth again. Yeah. So take, take your time, get the proper, you know, um, air mixture and stuff. If you have specific questions about air mixtures, um, air versus product, John's on here. He can um, brrr, type it in and, and answer your questions. So fire, fire off as many questions as you want to him. Tip number five. Tip number five, um, clean your tips often. And th this Whoa. goes with airless sprayers too. So your, your tip set, and, and you'll notice uh, um, the other day I was, um, um, Zach was, was spraying and he was asking why the sound, he was hearing this hissing sound. Mm -hmm. And all you gotta do is just turn around, look at the tip and you start to get, you know, build up of paint on this, the little tiny, the tip on the, and there's um, the needle and it's a tip or a needle. The needle goes in and out and air shoots across the sides and stuff to help, you know, create this fan and atomize mm -hmm. the product. But, you know, after spraying for a while, you'll start to get a little bit of um, paint built up on there and you'll start to hear this hissing sound and it's going to start messing up your pattern it's going to mess up the atomization of the product and stuff and so you know sometimes all you have to do is just wipe it with your hand or just take a little rag you're not going to damage this it's um that's a really you know hard piece of metal in there the tip and set and you just wipe it with your finger clean it but i noticed the other day i was spraying and the, the little two ports where kind of air comes out the side of them when you spray you can put your finger over there and feel a little bit of air one of the ports was starting to get clogged up and so i was just taking a little pin and stick it in there and cleaning it out and I spent I, I sat there it's been like five minutes and I really should have just you know unscrewed it mm -hmm. you just unscrew it and you can just take out you know you know the the little um you know the whole um set up I always lose my um, <laughs> The, all the definitions and terminology for all this stuff. Um, but you just pull it off and just take um, the little wrench, pull that thing off and just clean it real fast. Spend, you know, five minutes, clean it, and bam, you're ready to go. Airless sprayers, all, do it all the time. Spraying outside, whoops, stuck the wrong thing in first. But um, cleaning your tips on airless sprayers, you know, every hour or so, you should just clean your tip and stuff. So, so just good um, habits will good habits. make you have a better... But finished product, better finished and product, less um, frustrations, less, less frustrations. Mm -hmm. Um, and I always, um, to me, you can hear it. I mean, when you're spraying, when it's clean, it kind of makes this clean, you know, sound coming out. You'll start to make it, it make this weird little hissing sound. And when Zach asked me, he's like, What's that noise? And I'm like, You know, just clean your needle and just wipe it. Bam, he just did that, bent, pulled the trigger. And um, in way, well, it started working again. But I noticed if you just wipe it with your finger, it have a tendency to get clogged really quick versus just taking and putting it in some water lacquer thinner and scrubbing off really fast with a toothbrush and get going and stuff. So, um, yeah. Very cool. So that's five. And we said there's going to be five tips, but guess what? Yeah, we got they some have more. some bonus ones. Yeah. But people that haven't been with us the whole night, um, what were some things you wanted to make sure people know about our channel and why we exist and how they could contact us? Yeah. Um, you know, if you want to get a hold of us, and, and um, we're all over social media. I um, follow us on Instagram. We love throwing these little 30 second clip, one minute clips out there of how to do stuff. And then what the heck, sometimes we just kind of have fun with it, goof off. Sometimes you'll see a family daughter and stuff like that. On Facebook, kind of the same thing. Follow us on Facebook. Facebook is The Idaho Painter. Instagram is Idaho Painters. And um, we kind of love that stuff. It's we're kind of like social media geeks, but we'd love it if He's you. the geek. We'd love it if you follow us on Instagram. But I do love Facebook the video and, that you just posted on Instagram, so you got to go see it. It was pretty super funny. funny. I love reason, funny things. So. The only reason I posted it is because you kept laughing about it so much. Oh, I and just, I thought it was so, so funny. Because um, you thought it was so funny, I put it on there. And it's good and, to laugh. Um, yeah, it's and good it's to laugh. And it's good to laugh. La like. Laughing's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget to check us out on our website, The Idaho Painter. Yeah. Um, the, the Idaho Painter dot com. Yeah. If you go to Idaho Painter dot com, that's related to just my, my painting company. Okay. It, stuff, somebody so. says, go Lions. I don't know what Lions uh, are. The Lions, they're playing tonight, probably. It's Monday Night Football. <gasps> oh. So Go it's Lions. interesting because Monday Night Football is on now. Our our peak, you know, concurrent people is down a little bit. I'm mm -hmm. sure it's it's because of Monday Night Football. Yeah. And, and we talked about doing it a different night, you know, our well, show on a different night. But well, we just know. want to stick to it and be consistent. Yeah. And then what do you guys think? Let us know. Year. Should we do it on Monday night or should we do it on Tuesday night? Well, I think in no, January. I'm just, I'm just okay. asking these people. That's good. They can let us know. Yeah, definitely. Think. We want to hear from you. Give us some feedback. What night should we do it on? What time should we do it on? Yeah. Yeah. Mountain time. Remember, yeah. you got to put mountain time. Um, people yeah, do. we already. Um, 
Oh, let me this. So on my website, um, I don't have any giveaways. I just ran out of giveaways on the website, theidahopainter.com. But I'm going to be throwing on a Titan Maxim Elite gun. One of the guns I've been showing you. It's a $280 gun. Um, hope maybe tonight or tomorrow I'm going to throw that. And the only way to win that, I'm going to give it away only to people on my live show, but the only way to enter to win it is going to my website okay. and um, clicking on it and entering to win there. Okay. And then I'm also going to be putting on there a nail gun, a Brad Nailer right here, an 18 gauge Brad Nailer from Power Nail. These things are absolutely amazing. They're, they are great high quality guns. That's an expensive gun. So I'm going to throw those two things on my website. Yeah. The Idaho so people are saying Mondays, 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 cool. Mondays, Mondays, Mondays. Edward Ed yep. Wallace is Monday. Yep, I like um, that. Yeah, so we got another giveaway to do away. Oh, uh, we do. Um, but we got a little Just more time. Just imagine a paintbrush. So I wanted to talk about um, HVLP sprayers. And here we got a PPS cup right here. And what the heck is this plastic see-through yeah. thing that... You know, the, the hose, ha I haven't cut the hose yet, but usually the hose is going to be, you know, a lot shorter like this, you know, hooked on there. But I, it's brand new, so I've, I, we just started messing around with it. But HVLP sprayers, if you have this gun right here, if you turn it upside down and spray, it's going to suck air really quick. And then you're going to have to turn it back up and get, you know, get it till it primes again and start spraying. This new PPS system... Right here, this is a 3, 3M um, cup and system right here. You can turn this gun upside down, and what happens, it sucks all the air out right here, and it pressurizes it, and you can spray this thing upside down with it, it, without it ever lo un, or losing its prime. And so it's kind of cool. But, um, you know, what's better than that? In the PPS cup, it's a larger cup and stuff, a larger system. Sometimes getting inside cabinet doors isn't so great. What um, we like to see, and you'll see, John, we got a bunch of videos doing cabinets and stuff uh -huh. and spraying cabinets painting cabinets and, and doing fences and stuff you'll see um me and john um you'll see john he'll he has this this is a remote pot right here uh -huh. and you'll have this thing um hanging on his tool bag um I, i've used it and for some reason i hang it on my belt or or i just hold it in my hand this remote pot holds more paint and um more paint so you don't have to keep you know filling up as awesome as often mm -hmm. but one of the things about it is now you remove this cup oh and you can use the bigger now that so that goes there and you got two hoses come out of this so now your gun is smaller so you can get it into tighter places so if you got small mm -hmm. places to get it into you'll have um, you'll have a hose coming out of here and a hose coming out of here, and now you've just eliminated the pot. You don't have to fill it up as often. It lasts longer, and but you can get it. You can turn now. You can turn a gun upside down because the, re, the remote pot is always hanging, you know, um, right side up, and it's hanging from your belt or something like that. So now the gun becomes. You, you don't need a PPS system. You can turn it at any angle yeah. and spray at any angle. So I would say the majority, the you know, ninety percent of the time. We're painting with an HVLP sprayer. We're using this remote pot. This just this happens to be um, a cap spray remote pot from Titan. Um, absolutely killer. Love those things. So some people are asking, how do you enter to win? So you, is it on the website already? Yeah. So or? Um, it's not on the website now. There, the, I got old stuff that you'll see previous stuff that's on there, mm -hmm. all listed on there, and it's already already been given away. And I usually, mm -hmm. when I have time, I'll enter who are the winners. But go to my website. At the top of the website, there's a tab that says giveaways, free giveaways. Um, and just click on that tab and then, you know, drops down and just hit giveaways. And then you're going to see, um, you can't see it now, but you're going to see, you know, the thing, the actual item I'm giving away. And then you have to do, I usually have five things, five different ways you can enter. If you do them all, then you get five different entries that the computer system, a computer system generates the winner. Okay. And we only give it away to somebody that's on a live show. Okay. But one, one of them is, I mean, you automatically in, enter to win if you click on the thing and start the little process. If you're a subscriber on YouTube, I usually you know, have people go and look at an Instagram picture. Mm -hmm. And just by looking at the Instagram picture, that will enter you, put another okay. entry. I usually put a Facebook. Look at the funny um, one. And then I usually put a question, answering a question. If you mm -hmm. answer the question, um, it enters another one. I usually have five entries. And some people only do one entry. Some people do five. But the so more you do, the better the chances. Deck. Yeah. 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 So. And then... Then we just we give it away on our live show and we have our laptop and the computer system generates the person. If they're not on the live show, we give them like two minutes. Then we just hit the button again and regenerate another winner. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we have five minutes well, and so... I, I have a couple more things I wanted to talk about. So um, that was the six, reuse a remote pot or PPS spray. 
And what's number seven? I want to talk about the, a transfer pump. So oh, transfer here's pump. another thing not a lot of people may know about, but a transfer pump. The, the, the transfer pump with the Titan system, this sits right on top of the cap spray. It plugs right into it and integrates right into it. And it's, it's really cool because this transfer pump, once you set it in there, you can draw paint. Like if you're doing a really um, large project where you're going to be spraying tons of iron fence, you're going to go through 10 gallons, you can set um, your siphon tube right into to a, a five gallon bucket this transfer pump is gonna you know make it so you don't have to have a, a cup um, oh, wow. on there or you don't have to have you you don't have to sit there and hold this thing wow. and fill it because this is just a couple quarts so now it's really convenient it's on um, the transfer pump makes it so you can siphon right out of a five gallon bucket a really cool little thing and all it is is tiny little pump easy to set up with Titan at least I haven't um, I haven't seen one with um, Graco. If, if John, if you're on here, let us know um, if you've researched Graco, whether they have a, a transfer pump. I, I know that the Titan one, it just, it sets right. There's a, a um, the, the Titan machine has this little round circular thing. It just drops right into it. It's where the, the cup sits into it when you're carrying it around, but then it plugs in there. And it's really cool, easy to use. I set it up. I got, they sent me this thing, never used it before. I set it up. In 10 minutes, I had it going, and it worked very easy. It was mm -hmm. great, and um, tested out was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. We got another so, giveaway to give away. We do have another giveaway to do, and um, it is um, these two handy-dandy paintbrushes. Yeah, the Richard paintbrush. Um, Hyde sends us a lot of stuff. Hyde sent me another couple boxes of stuff to give away the other day. So um, Yeah, so this is going to... McKenna, are you going to type it? Or are you going to Do I need one? to say? She picked them. You she can did. Say, yeah, but she's got to, you can say. Oh, oh, she's it texted it to you. Yep, she did. Wow, the power, the power of the internet. My daughter's <laughs> all the way up, um, like hundreds of miles away, and she just. 250 um, to be exact. She chose the winner. She's on the live show, and she mm -hmm. chose um, John Har John Harrell. John, John Harrell, you're the winner of these two brushes. So, so you need to brushes. email us your address so that I could mail them to you. Email us at live show at the dash idaho-painter.com and um you send us an address and yeah then, and then i was gonna give we're out of extra large shirts right now so we're kind of we are waiting we need to get some stuff ordered but um i'm secret? looking it is a secret Tell me. i'm trying to read whisper in my ear <laughs> <laughs> um i'm just trying to read this i think i think so junior 24 says prayers to you and your family um, bro, Thank you. probably John. Okay, that's John's, who. Um, home taking care of his wife and kids. Wife is sick. Hopefully, John, I'm gonna give a shirt out better. to Kenny Sanders. Kenny so Sanders. you need to email me. Hopefully, you're not an extra large because I don't have any right now. If you are an extra large, you gotta wait. We're still waiting for our hats to come in. Um, our paint light hats. Email us your for quite your shirt size. We're all out of hats. And address. That's shirt what. size and address. Two. Yeah, our, um, if you guys haven't show. seen it, here's a, uh, the dash. a paint know. life shirt. Dash. There's a paint Major. life shirt right there. That uh -oh, one. Oh, no, I can't read. Look, guess it's who it's top. signed by. We already did that last week. No, but we, okay. you never know. That guy that guessed. So Kenny Sanders. It's signed by Josh Allen from, um, he's a quarterback of Wyoming Cowboys. He's going to be a pro football player next year, pro yep. quarterback. So he signed that and... Um, I was going to give it away last show, and the guy said he'd rather have one he could wear and didn't care. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, so, we have so we still have the Josh Allen so sign. Another shirt. one. But anyways, that will be our giveaways for the night. So you're going to put yeah. add the little sprayer thing to your website? I feel good tonight because you said a lot of good things about me. So I always say good things about you. <laughs> so I'm feeling good about myself Yeah, tonight, he missed so. me. So it's good sometimes to go away. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we got. Um, so you can come back. We've got to say a big thanks to our um, our super chatters tonight that yeah. are helping support our channel. Yeah. Gary um, Cressman, um, Creasman, Cressman, uh, David Evans, Slick Type Zero Zero One, um, Family Man yeah. Clan. We see him all the time. Andrew Slovacek, thank you very much, Andrew. Family Man, Slick Type David, and um, uh, Gary. We really appreciate it. Um, you know, you guys helping support our channel financially yeah. and giving us your hard earned money. Is, yeah. Um, and thank you yeah. for giving us suggestions on what you want to see and what you want to talk about. Yeah. 
So yeah, we, so we got um, one guy gave us a suggestion, and I think we're gonna um, shoot a video on that yeah. here within the next week or two. So if you have any suggestions before this live chat ends, mm -hmm. um, throw those suggestions down there. Yeah, John is he's our scheduler now. He's kind of in charge of scheduling, and he's created this like um, I don't know, like three month long calendar now of what we're our not, live shows are going to be about. It, really. Yeah, we're not doing very well. <laughs> we, haven't, okay. we haven't got together with him yet. And, yeah, that's um, okay. And, we'll do that. Because I've been gone and stuff like that, but we, yeah, we, we, okay. we got to go with the schedule. But if whatever you want to see, you know, is a live show yeah. or, or even, I mean, not even just a live show topic, I mean, a YouTube video. Uh -huh. If you want to see us, you know, cut a YouTube video on um, such and such subject, because that, that was a great, I mean, I never thought of something like that. I haven't yeah. thought of it. And that was a great, great idea. Yeah. So, um, Steady Line Painting is on, Superior Painting, Edgar Zavala, um, you got 30 seconds, Randy. <laughs> we got Wes, mm -hmm. Hardwood Experience, um, yeah, cool, all the people chatting on there. Yeah. And, um, Facebook, we got Pat Dunford, um, do you guys ever use elastomeric, um, yeah, we're we, we, yeah that, that's <laughs> another topic, we questions. do, yeah, yeah, we do, um, John's probably yeah. on there answering yeah. this question. Um, Kyle Tyler's on, Josh Roberto, you guys, thanks for being yeah. on um, Facebook. We're going to say bye to all of our Facebook guys. Thank yeah, you. Thank um, you for being with And us. thank you for being on our show. Out. Um, yeah, so now we, gotta... we love YouTube and we love you guys on YouTube. Yeah. So thank so, you so much for being with us because without you guys, we'd be just really two weird people sitting yeah. in a room. And now I'm going to go watch um, we are the, weird the Lions. Um, you know who the Lions are? The Lion King. No, the Lions. It's a football team. What's, I know where are they from? They're blue and white. I know that. No. I'm smart. They're Detroit. There you go. They're, I... they're blue and silver. Okay, I'm actually a lot smarter than you think I am. Yeah, so... Um, he likes it when I act up. Let us know who you want to win. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go <laughs> take off and go Okay. watch some Monday you Night keep Football Keep on now. painting and... Yeah. Make sure to check us out if you want to learn and be a part of this community. Yep. Our, what is our goal? To educate, equip, and empower. There you go. Our goal is to educate, equip, and, and if empower. And I could get educated. Professional and I painters could get and do-it-yourselfers. Yep. If yeah. I, that's the true test. If I can do it. Yeah, Elastomeric. Um, Jenny Toon says, "Love, love Elastomeric." Um, we got a whole. That's um. We need to do a live show on that yeah. because. We've changed our whole thought process about elastomeric coatings now. It's gone full circle. Of, yeah, it's gone full circle. Okay. So, yeah, so that'll be a topic coming up soon. We're going to come over here, and there's um, this button over there. It's called Stop Streaming. Stop. I'm going to hit that Stop Streaming button like, and um, hit it like right now. So we'll see you guys. Order. We'll see you on our next video. Thank you. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that, um, that little um, bell. See yes. you guys.